Hi, this is Rich with Rich Mount Photography, Sacramento, California. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Tips and Tricks for Real Estate Photography, a place where we can all talk about and learn more about real estate photography. Okay, I want to thank Adorama for sponsoring my channel. If you're going to go buy some new gear, please use that Adorama link. So today's video is on how to deal with color casts, those pesky darn color casts we all deal with. And now there are a million ways to do it. I know at least three, but I'm sure there's a million. But anyway, I urge you to try different techniques and methods, but I'm going to show you in this really quick tutorial how I deal quickly and easily with color casts in Lightroom, all in Lightroom. And I just want to show you these and, you know, you make it up for yourself what works for you. But I think this might help you on your journey to getting beautifully color correct images. So thank you and sit back while I take you into Lightroom. Okay, so we're in Lightroom Classic. That's what I use. And I just want to show you how to quickly and easily it is to change, adjust, modify your color cast. And as you see here, I've got a lot of orange in here and mostly from these lights. And uh, it is causing me to have a really big orange cast. And I don't think these walls are actually orange. But the thing is, I could certainly go down here and I could uh, just take out my orange um, saturation. But it is also taking the orange saturation out of the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here to my adjustment brush in Lightroom. And this is a super important tool, it's something we're going to be using a lot on in this tutorial. So I'm going to click it and I'm now going to go down to and click on saturation. And I'm going to lower my saturation about 60%. You can do 58, 62, it's not really important. So we can adjust that later. So I'm now going to also check that my flow is on 100%. And I'm going to keep my density on 80% is about right. So let's just go here now. I'm just going to brush out this color cast. Here we go. And this is really a super simple way. And it's really, it might not be the best way for a specific image. And I can do it on these white doors, get them a little wider. And on this wall over here. And it's a great way to start out, but quickly in one, I mean, gosh, not one second, but in 10 seconds, look what I'm doing. I go from this to this. I think you'll see that that's a great way to start. And I urge you all to try it yourself. See what works for you. But if I wanted to go back into this brush, I'm going to do a new layer, a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to give it a little less negative saturation like 20 percent or so anyway i want to go here and i want to just continue to take out a little bit of orange there you go and i think that again i'm going to show you this before and after i think you'll see it's quite dramatic okay great and i hope that shows you how quick and easy it is now you could bring it into photoshop and deal with um, adjustment layers all kinds of things but lately, I've been finding it so easy just to use the adjustment brush in Lightroom. I mean, gosh, how quick and easy is that? Okay, and now I've got an image that has quite a bit of orange in it. So let's see what we can do to adjust that. Let's now pick out, just move our temperature a little bit cooler. That actually helped quite a bit. Now let's take our adjustment brush like before. Yeah, let's take out about 40%. Let's just take out that orange. There we go. And I want to take a little bit of the orange out of the floor. Now the floor is kind of orange, but I want to just kind of make it better looking. And I think I've done a good job here. Now you're going to get some orange because this is really kind of orange wood. And I'm not doing this perfectly. And sure, there are different options and you can do a better job. But for me, I'm now going to look at before and after. And by George, I think I've got a better image to use in my masking flambient process. So there you go. And super easy to do. 
as I showed you and something you should check out. On this image though, beyond colors, I might add a little contrast. I might also add in a little texture and maybe a little dehaze. There we go. And I like it. Let's look again at the before and after. So I think I've got a better place to now mask in my ambient into my flash image because it just looks better all over. And again, these are super quick, super quick. So let's just reset it. Let's go here and let's just turn it to bring down that a little bit, The uh, make it a little cooler. I want to now take out a little saturation from this orange, a little from the floor. Okay, there you go. And again, I'm going to show you um, before and after. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> okay, let's go to this one. Okay, now I am on um, straight out of the camera. I think this is an ambient shot. It might be a flash shot. I think it's ambient. So we're going to use the white balance eyedropper tool. I think this is going to work. Let's just put it on this white down here. And again, you want to try something white or gray. And now there's kind of gray in there. I'm just going to try white right here. And there we go. Now I've got a little bit of uh, magenta or purple in there. I don't want to make it green. Eh, I'm not sure I like that. So let's try this white balance, white uh, balance eyedropper again right there. And actually, that's okay. I'm now going to give it a little bit of green. Now this is something you need to play with on your own. Okay. You need to find out what works for you. But now I'm going to try my adjustment brush. Again, I'm going to lose some saturation. And I really find that overall, I find that this adjustment brush is so fast and easy. And really, I mean, I don't want to really change everything globally or I don't want to go down to my colors and select a color and completely take it out. Like if I was to take out the orange, well, it looks pretty, <laughs> looks about the same now, but if I reset the image, I could take out the orange and no, nah, that's not going to do it. Maybe the yellow too. Let's, oh, yellow worked pretty good. Point is, I want you to try all these different techniques to adjust your white balance, your your colors in an image. Okay, let's go on to the next image. And this is just straight out of the camera. This is a flash shot. So I'm going to now, and here's a tip, and this is what I tell all my students and everybody, I suggest you use the white balance eyedropper tool in the sink. Just, I don't know what it is, but it seems to work. There we go. Now I have a little bit of orange here. So let's just take our brush. And again, we're on saturation, about 50%. Make it a little smaller. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Maybe up here a little bit. And on the floor, get a little wider. And there you go. Okay. And again, this is a fast tutorial. Okay, here is a finished image. And how did I get there with this ambient? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay. So what are we doing here? We want to start with the eyedropper tool. I always say basically start with the eyedropper tool. And this is gray. So this is kind of looks kind of neutral gray. Let's go there. And there we go. Looks pretty good. Now, when you do neutral gray, sometimes it adds in blue. And luckily, there's not usually blue in, in rooms, but there is a blue um, ottoman. I don't know why they put the ottoman in the bathroom, but uh, anyway, I don't want to go there. So I could certainly take out the blue there. That doesn't look bad. So now let's try one other thing. Let's go back and reset it. And I'm now just going to try that adjustment brush. 60% out. 59, 60. Okay, there we go. So I think you'll get the idea. This is kind of the theme of this video is just check out your adjustment brush and fix these specific areas. Every shot is different. Now, please understand, this is just the the ambient image and my flash image um, helped to make this image. So I'm not showing you the flash flash end of it, but I am showing you the ambient end of it. And let's do this one more time. Let's show you the before 
and after. So I think you'll see that we have a lot better place to work at, work from, when we fix the things in Lightroom, the color issues, before we mask in our layers in Photoshop. And this is all done in Lightroom. Super fast, super easy. Okay. Let's go down to the next image. Let's get it back to a single image. Okay, well, we got an orange color cast. And that is from this tungsten light up here. And there are several ways I can do it. But boy, you've got orange on the gray carpet. Got orange in the other room because there's other tungsten lights. So let's start with the auto white balance eyedropper. And let's go on to this gray. And I urge you to try it. Try it on the white, white baseboard, gray here. Find out what works for you and makes it pop into the color shift that you find appropriate for this particular image. Oh, that's pretty good. So the white balance eyedropper tool I picked right here on the gray carpet. Let's now go and pick it on the uh, white baseboard right here. Oh, see, it doesn't work great on the white baseboard. I'm going to go Command Z and go backwards. And I'm going to now click it on the white baseboard or the white part of this uh, cabinet. Nah, you know what? I like it best. I'm going to go back to reset so you can see it. I'm going to go back and do it on the gray. And this is kind of a neutral gray. There we go. Now, I'm going to now go a little further. The, the, the white balance eyedropper tool kind of pushes you into the realm of what would be a decent um, uh, color or exposure. And you now need to make it your own and you need to get it specific for the specific image. So I'm going to do my local area adjustment brush. And again, I'm going to take out a little less. So I'm going to do like 40%, 43. There we go. I'm just going to now take out the warmth, the orange. There you go even on the carpet. And actually, man, I'm going to do it all over here too. Now, I'm actually, I, I painted it in. And if you want to see where you paint, here's a good tip right there. Show selected mask overlay. And there we go. And that's showing you where my mask I painted in. So that will help you to better understand. And if I want to erase from this couch, all I do, I'm still in the adjustment brush. All I do is on a Mac, hit Option. On a PC, hit Alt. And now you see it goes from a plus to a minus. And I'm going to open this up a little bit. And I'm just going to erase that mask. There we go. And you can practice with this. Let's now paint it back in a little bit here. There we go. Now let's look at it here. And I tell you, that looks a lot better. And let's just, as we've been doing, let's check it with our, our um, before and after view. And as you can see here, it goes from that to this. And now again, this is not the finished image. This is merely the ambient image for my flambient or flash ambient blend. I will also have a flash image, but I'm getting most of my color casts on the ambient image. So you can see right here, this really, really helped. Really quickly though, again, let me just do it one more time. Let's just take this out. Let's go here. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Now you could do other ways, I promise you. But uh, for me, this works. I'm actually going to do a little more. I'm going to go back up to about 60 right there. And there we go. And again, that quick little adjustment is going to show you this. I mean, gosh, that looks pretty good to me. Not a finished image again, but a starting point. And this can all be done in two or three seconds. It really helps. The more you do, the more you understand. Okay, here's a finished image. And I have a bathroom here and we have tungsten lights up here. And granted, I've got a little orange here and a little orange here, but I didn't mind leaving that. Now that's a, that's really a, a photographer's call dealing with your realtors. So that's your um, understanding, clarification of expectations. But for me, I'm okay with this. So let's take the ambient image here. Okay, let's reset it. 
And again, um, you're dealing with color cast. Now I happen to know that these walls are gray, like here. So this is a big tip too. When you go into a room and you have experience, you will look and go, okay, make a mental note that these walls are actually gray or are they actually green like this? So that's something that you will learn and start uh, adding it to what you do. Okay, so this is a flash image. And the first thing I'm going to do, let's try the white balance eyedropper, white balance eyedropper tool. There we go. And look at that. That really, really helped. But you know what? I want to get rid of a little bit of this orange in here. So I'm going to go back to my adjustment brush. I'm going to take out about, eh, about 45%. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller. There we go. And Because uh, I want a little bit around where the sconces or the lights are. Okay, let's go a little bit here, here. Okay, let's go here, here. Oh, just around those globes. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure you're following me. Anyway, I tell you, this looks a lot better. And let's just uh, do a before and after. So we went quickly and easily. And again, I'm going to do it real time for you. Let's just go back to the image and let's reset it. Okay, you can start your stopwatch i'm just going to do that and i'm going to do this and i'm going to take out that ah, i think i'm up to about 10 seconds there we go done okay i think you get my point and i'm not trying to seem like i'm any magic magician in uh, photoshop or lightroom it's just simply a simple tool i just happen to have done it a zillion times okay so now Here's the finished image. Let's take out these adjustment points. It's finished image. And here is the here is the ambient image. No, I'm sorry. I think this is actually the flash image. So how do we fix this? I'm actually going to use the white white balance eyedropper tool again. I'm going to go on this bedspread, white bedspread. And look, right away, man, let's go right into. Look at it. It went from that to this with one click. Let's do it again. One click of the eyedropper tool. Now, again, sometimes you might need, let's go backwards. Sometimes you might need to go over here to the white drapes. That works pretty good, too. Some rooms work easy. Some work um, a lot harder. So you could also use the um, adjustment brush. But you know what? I'm always going to start with the eyedropper tool because that may just save me a bunch of time but you can with the adjustment brush bam 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 even on the floor so that's gray there and you know what i'm not going to do the um i'm not going to overall change my colors like down here take out the orange and the yellow because that's going to take all the suck out of suck all the light out of the image all the life out of the image so anyway i think you see that this is going to uh, work really well again let's just do it one more time for you so i can prove how easy it is just do a simple white balance eyedropper tool and uh, you know what i'm there i don't even need to do it anymore okay here's a finished image beautiful home but these tungsten lights really did a job on this room. Here's the straight out of camera. And this is a flash. I think this is a flash shot. So right here, let's do one thing first. I'm going to raise my exposure just a little bit. I'll feel better about working on it then. Okay. Now let's use the eyedropper tool. As I said, let's try it on the white um, molding on the window. There we go. Wow. Look at the, okay. Let's just go here. Okay, sorry. Let me go here and just do before, after. You can see, adding a little bit, I'm talking basically a half a stop right there. Ah, close enough. A half a stop of light and doing the white balance eyedropper tool. It changed everything and it got you so close. So let's just reset this. Okay. And let's go in here one more time on the molding of the window. Look at it there, and you can add a little bit 
of exposure. And boy, that looks pretty good. Okay, granted, I got a lot of light in the back where I added lights. I have a big light there, a 600. But for this uh, tutorial, I think it will uh, give you the idea of how I do what I do. So this is really, um, you know, this is really basic and not really involved. And your mileage is going to vary because each individual room, each scenario is different. So thank you so much for joining me for this YouTube tutorial. I hope it helps you to better understand how quick and easy it is to fix your color casts in Lightroom. It's very important and something you should be doing. So thank you so much and thank you to Adorama for sponsoring my YouTube channel. If you're going to go buy some new gear, please use that Adorama affiliate link. It helps you to motivate me to make these free tutorials. I want to say check out Shooting Spaces, a real estate photography podcast at shootingspacespodcast.com. And you know what? Shoot better, shoot smarter, get better clients, make more money. But the bottom line is this is a career, it's something that we can be proud of, it's something that can actually make you money. And how wonderful it is that I can take pictures for a living. And you can too. Trust me, if I can do it, so can you.